Okay, so uh, for anybody that does not know, Raymer is a very interesting character. He has uh, multiple bullets. He gains his bullets back by hitting people. Yep. Uh, and the bullets interact with the not only the stage to be bounced, but also with his grenade that he can hover and freeze in the air. Yep. He is just like a an absurd take on a zoning trap character. Oh yeah, like like when I say I hate fighting this character, it's just because I get frustrated with the tools that they have, but watching this character, especially like played yep. by some of the best players in the game, Three, is such a treat two, to watch. This is one, so sick. Rush. And now I get to watch these two characters uh, kind of really go at it here, so we'll see how this plays out. Oh wait, oh my god. Yeah, almost got it early and often. Tried to go in with the down there, not quite gonna work. Goes for the red burst on the shield, actually, to maintain pressure. I like the idea. Okay, Akoi is just going crazy on the first stock here. We just got started. We're 25 seconds into the game. <laughs> okay, trying to go for that up special. Not gonna work out here. Raymer does get the couple touches. Bubby looking for the big one, but it's not gonna work out. But still has the up special to be able to make it back. All right. We go big damage right now. Okay, I like that. Trying to get a mix up there, but Akoi was ready on the defensive end. No special not gonna work. It's a trade. Works out oh. in the end with the double up air. Very nice stuff. Very good stuff so far. And I mean, that's crazy too, because Akoi started off super hot. There's no way, right? Okay, I was super scared for Akoi there for a little bit, because Bubby was going in. Okay. Oh. Trying to look for the parry there in kind of a weird spot. Neutral special in the air is very different from the grounder one. The grounder one obviously is like an SPD like you see in a lot of other grapplers. In the air, uh, it's kind of a weird helicopter that spikes. It's hard to explain, but it's sick. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I definitely, I, I love it though. It's such a goofy looking move. There we go. Oh wait, she can be able to make her way back. She does with a little bit of assistance from the grenade. Yeah, had to burst, but still makes it back. Yep. Oh, wow, still not gonna be able to take that, man. Bobby's been playing fantastic, though. I mean, yeah. got a lot of damage onto that second stock already. Already down to 48 HP. You gotta keep in mind, she's got 180. I believe it's the second highest. Okay, good blocks there. Nice oh. cross up! Unreal defense from McCoy. Gets the throw afterwards as well. Bro, she's been doing that all day. <laughs> she, she's she got no problem holding that shield, and she reacts so quick to what side you land on getting that grab. It is so nasty. <laughs> God, made it work again, was able to get the grab. Parry oh. comes through, gets the jab one. Bubby DI's down and mashes. I really like that, actually. Mm -hmm. I know we were talking about Hattrick's parries earlier today, too. Akoi's been on top of it all day. I mean, Bubby's been doing a pretty good job of staying fairly elusive, but he started off super hot here, keep in mind, and now it's relatively an even game already. Yeah, and that's one of the things you have to know about Bubby, is Bubby can potentially play a ton of different characters. Bubby's in-game oh, yeah. tag is Bubby has many hours, and yeah. it's true. Uh, the guy plays every character in the game, so yeah. we could see uh, counter picks here. It's just Raymer's historically a hard matchup for Erda, so it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of projectiles to deal with. I mean, yeah. Erda, she, she's, you know, one of the bigger bodies in the game, but I mean, she can only reach so far, right? And Reimer, Reimer can, he, you know, he's just insane as it is. Oh, okay, grab the ledge, still working out, try to go for the nair, not gonna work. Anything will do it, but yeah, I was gonna say, it's hard as Erda when you get the last hit because a lot of her moves are so telegraphed. It's it, it's hard to not want to just go for down air jab, weird stuff. Oh, 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 just barely missing out on that down special. Just covered everything. I know, oh that's God. the thing. You see, she covered everything there. And it was terrifying because even though Bubby had the right defensive option to get out of that, she was still on top of it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Off the grenade, gets a hard knockdown, wakes up with the boulder, not gonna work out. That slow grenade gets parried. Parrying actually reflects projectiles in this game. Yep. Okay, big. Man, we're seeing boulders all over the place now. Hey, listen. DP projectile working out, gets the hit, pushes him so far away. Oh, that grenade. Okay, great stuff. That was actually a super well-placed grenade. Oh. Wow, I was looking for the neutral air. The grenade beats it clean. Nice confirm from Bubby. Continuing to maintain this lead. Akoi is one good grab away from evening it up, though. Oh, yeah, 100%, man. That is exactly what Erder is all about. It's in her voice lines. Don't get grabbed. But that forward air is also kind of sick. Okay, Toss off. the child. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. The giant swing to close it. Able to get that neutral special in kind of a weird spot. But Bubby still gets the better of the situation somehow. Dude, these parries from McCoy have been so clean. I mean, when you can't, don't have as many offensive options against a character, having that good defense like that to create your offense is so huge for a character like Erda. 
Wow, I thought that was gonna be Buckshot and that was gonna be a dead character. Oh my god. Yeah, but we got that burst out of there now. Bubby's not gonna get caught up in that combo for too long. Whoa, okay. Oh, try to go for the up special into the command throw. Not gonna work out. Tech Chase comes through, <laughs> wakes up with the parry once again. Oh, geez, okay, yep. Getting a couple of those bullets out there. He's got three left at the moment. Oh, this is so terrifying. This might be the end of a Koi. I feel like it's difficult to land on the stage here properly, and there it is, closing out that first game. Bubby takes it. Dude, I like seeing the uh, the grenade kind of float away, the slow float through. Every time I see that, all I can think of is, uh, I know you're in chat, shout to Jorain. I, I just, I see the I see the emote sliding in. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're out there, goodness, uh, I am, appreciate you hanging out. But again, to everybody, thanks for watching, but dude, one zero. What a weird way to go. We're gonna go to triplats, which I do think is a good call. I mean, more, yes. more a little tighter uh, quarters on the ground and a little more uh, platforms to be able to extend combos. And not just that too, but kind of gives you some ways to kind of dance around the bullets too. Yep. I mean, they have these extra platforms and while they do give Raymer you know, like more places to bounce off of, it's kind of hard. He has to be a little more accurate if you want to try and, you know, uh, thread the needle in between those platforms there. Absolutely. Also, I think in a lot of situations, Erda can be harder to approach when she has a lead. So having the top platform to be able to camp a little bit is oh, really, yeah. really strong if you can get ahead. Oh yeah, exactly. Right now, man, Bubby's <laughs> having no problem with these platforms at the moment. Yeah, I feel like he's actually thriving here at the moment. Oh, okay, nice evasion, gets the touch. Not the kill, still okay, gets the back. Oh, but the back here was kind of sick. All right. Ooh, just barely whiffing on that. Oh. Just away, gets the get up attack. Down air afterwards, nice burst. A lingering hitbox of the burst, saves out and tries ah. to parry the slow projectile, but the timing is so difficult. Yeah, man, that's definitely just Bobby just kind of throwing out an option, waiting to see how Akoi would react to it. He's got the huge punish for it. I, re I really got to commend her for her shielding. Yeah. This is probably the best shielding I've seen in the game. Which is really important, not only uh, for the type of playstyle that Akoi plays, but for playing Urda. She, yeah. You have, to be, you have to be willing to be that kind of patient to be successful at the high level. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's like almost any grappler. <laughs> you have to be a little bit patient because once you al allow your patience, you know, to be your virtue, yeah. <laughs> you can get huge punishments out of it. But I agree, though. I mean, Akoi, she is one of the best at being able to display how you can play these defensive situations. Yo, Oh, yes. There oh we go. Yeah, big stock. Three stocks apiece now. Granted, we do see a Koi at 60 HP, but we know it only takes a few hits for Erda to really try to even things up, if not take the lead. Okay. Got to go for the neutral wake up afterwards. I like that little slowdown. Kind of an interesting situation. A Koi able to get out of it. Unfortunately, six HP remaining. Once you're under five, your life is pretty much forfeit because Raymer's guns uh, do just enough to put you in last hit and finish you off. Yeah, I'm just kind of <laughs> amazed that that back air traded with the get up attack from the from the platform or from the ledge. I was uh, I'd be a little upset after that. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Oh my god, what? <laughs> that was so much movement. What other game do you see a grappler move like this? <laughs> wow, and everything after the first hit, well, I think was guaranteed, which is the craziest yeah. part. <laughs> like, right. come on, dude. The block of the cross up there on the Nair. I really want to see like uh, uh, the inputs on the side, just, just for both of these characters, just to see how fast these guys are actually playing. Yeah. Okay. Neutral air, actually beats out the grenade. It's okay, try to go for the command throw, knock a little too far. That multi-hitting neutral air in the air has been absurd for mix-up games. Yeah, and one thing I do actually like here is that Akoi, now able to even up the stocks again, did it with more HP than last time. So slowly but surely, it seems like they're trying to pull this game back into somewhat even, perhaps. Whoa! Oh, that was wow. so so scary. <laughs> that was your life also if it hit because you're able yeah. to go for the cargo throw. One unique thing about her is she does have a cargo throw mechanic. If she hits you in the air with a command throw, she cargoes in midair. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's sick. <laughs> she needs it. But either way, now into a last stock situation here. We got to see if Akoi can find a way to dig deep and turn this around because right now, man, Bubby on top. Uh, that was such a good setup there. The slow projectile and then putting the pressure on the other side. So Akoi just had to eat it. Okay. 
connection. Oh, but still is able to mash out. Neutzler gets the hit. 120 HP remaining. Charges up the forward attack. That missile drop kick. Wow, dude, going to the ledge there was so smart. I'm pretty sure that was like a last second decision too. Wow. Okay. But there we go. Look, even more HP this time. That fourth though made it work. Tries to go for the neutral special once again, a little too far. Down tilt, footsies on the ground. Can work out in Erda's favor, but if Raymer is playing intelligently, which Bird uh, Bubby is, you will never get that opportunity. Right. Oh, that's so much damage. Oh my God. Dude. She landed one hit for three HP. And then that didn't, didn't matter. Bubby just said, all right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that is just how fast it can get out of control, especially with Raymer. Like we said, Raymer is probably the most technical character in the game, but the reward is absurd if you have the discipline and the patience to do it correctly. Yeah, I mean, it's really about utilizing these projectiles as well. Because he just he can cover so much space. And it leads to some of these big hits too, like these up airs that we've been seeing. Yeah. Absolutely disgusting move. Ooh. Okay, use the up special with the extra hits just to be able to get a little bit farther here. Gets the command for the hard knockdown. And I'd like that shields everything and then just mashes jab. Didn't want to go for the DP and leave himself a little more open than he needed to. Right. Oh, doesn't have a lot of resources here. Beautiful. That should be it for him. And you know what? For a little bit of extra insurance, just go out there and clean it up. Yeah, the multi-hit, why not? Yeah. And that's a, another great start there. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite get far enough for the up tilt. Say her up tilt a lot more front-loaded now than it was before, so it's not a quite as all-encompassing as it once was. And that is something I think a lot of people in this game need to recognize too, or any viewers at home. If you actually hit a projectile, you still get your burst, or your spark, I mean. Yeah. So like, you actually saw it right there not too long ago. She threw out the up, spec or up tilt, uh, got her spark, and then dashed back to put herself in position yeah. to uh, you know, be the aggressor against Bubby, who was actually trying to go above. Dude, two amazing blocks from Bubby. Gets the down tilt. Not much else to follow. Six HP remaining. Take the shot. Absolutely. Woo! And that is another important thing. Raymer can uh, bounce the the, uh, the gunshots, but you can bounce them off the grenade. The grenade can be used as redirect for uh, like a platform. Yeah. I mean, if you've got great accuracy, you like those uh, FPS games, I mean, it's a little bit 2D here, <laughs> but you still got to be on top of your accuracy. I mean, and, and it's just, it's crazy how um, creative some of these Raymer players really get. Okay. Border connects. A little bit of a delay. Like that jump, but the last shot just barely connects. Oh, I lived. Oh, I like that. I like the cancel. Mm -hmm. Wow. Walk up shield. Patience of a monk. Pressure on the shield. Not going to work out. Almost gets the kill, but unfortunately put himself way too far off stage. Koi, she gets the better of it. Yeah. I mean, considering where Bubby was at in HP, though, I don't like, I don't hate that. Uh, play because you eventually like again you mentioned the risk reward was so huge and you didn't really lose too much You just lost the stock which you're already close to losing anyway Oh that <laughs> down air beats it clean mistimed it and missed space that up special by just a little bit And that's the type of punishment you Ooh. will take the double parry. Oh, this could be it. Oh, <laughs> all right All right, all right great stuff from Bubby being able to survive getting back to the stage here Yeah, red burst. Very well implemented there. 103 HP remaining. This would be a hell of a comeback here from Bubby. Yeah, the problem is no burst at all. I mean, it was a pretty good burst. He got that stock out of the way. And we know what Raymer can do with this combo game. This goes absolutely insane here. As you can see, okay, already wastes one burst. But yeah. still. Forcing her to burst defensively is so important in this oh. as well. But the forward air almost takes the kill. It's like a T-ball setup right there. Yep. Ooh. Yep, clean that up. Up special follow up and just lets it rock. I like that. Yeah. But I mean, I've seen a Koi do this before, you know, where they, they lose a game and then I mean they lost two games here. Bubby Bubby's definitely a different player. But I wouldn't be surprised to, if a Koi can find a way to push this to a game five. But man, I can't Bubby's still playing great. He just kinda had a few misplays there and a Koi really took advantage of him. Three, two, one, rush. Let's see it. Trying to go for the neutral air, not going to be able to get the hit. Finds that hard knockdown, and that is the type of mix-up game that we like to see here. There's that voice line. Don't get grabbed. That's what you do. Okay. Oh, my God. 
Tech just came through. Not able to get too much for it. Missile dropkick connecting and it goes a little too low there. I feel like a lot of the times Raymer's not going to want to go low because of what we saw last game. The down air just obliterates his up special. Yeah. Yeah, he's definitely going to be going a little bit higher, but you know what? That could just be some conditioning too to force Bubby to want to go higher so Koi can take advantage of that. Oh, got caught on the platform Ooh. there. Things don't work out. Burst does stop your knockback though, so good to use that to be able to survive. Oh, I love that burst coming out. Oh my God. Just absolutely blew up and just immediately in your face. That was so crazy. A little bit of neutral special. Slow yourself down. Get to connect. Almost, but the downer is too far. The two shots connect afterwards, though. I like these little bits and pieces of damage that Bubby's finding. Never feeling like he needs to extend too far, but this is a koi. Oh, oh my God! Next hit, anything. Good block. Dude, that's so much pressure on the shield what as well. Stock. My goodness. She's Th disgusting. Dude, I, I swear she thrives being on the back end <laughs> of stuff like this. She likes to press her. This is where she blows up the most. Okay, quick follow up. It's a little too far to be able to get the throw afterwards. Still okay though. He's looking for that up air. He just wants to get that hit to close it out. Finally gets it. Beautifully played, but man, Akoi's off to such a huge start here. Bursting very, very early there. Wants to play, wants to maintain the lead as best as possible, but unfortunately, bursting early against Raymer can lead you into weird edge guard situations. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. All right, that isn't gonna do anything too crazy there. I like that, all right. Oh. Oh, Buckshot again doesn't work. Wakes up with the DP. Yeah, her movement's actually been really on point here. Bubby, though, answering back. Okay. <laughs> I like the creativeness. Oh. Yeah, the paint. Throw that in every once in a while. Just to make him think about it. You can also use it to turn around just like she did right there. Man, how much that pushes you back in shield is absolutely insane. But look at this, man. Down four stocks to two at one point. And now Bubby kind of tearing this back a little bit. Granted, he's at low HP, but look, just refuses to die. Next hit, anything neutral special does get the connect. One stock remaining here. Bubby still setting on set point, but Akoi doing a pretty ridiculous job of fighting back into this. Yeah, but you know, I would not be surprised to see Bubby turn this around, man. His combo game is still on point, even at a deficit here. It's just the issue is that Akoi kind of went crazy in those first couple stocks. Okay, just barely made it to the ledge. Oh. Pushing the grenade pops. Oh no. Couple connects in a row, goes for the dodge. I like that, the air, uh, the air dodge works out really, really well. Ooh, that's big. Big damage, not gonna be able to take that stock though. Oh God, dude, she's covering everything. <laughs> dude, Bubby's so sick. It's actually ridiculous. <laughs> dude, he's been holding, hanging onto this stock like crazy. He doesn't want to see a game five, that's for sure. Oh, back air does actually get it one to one on the stocks now. He doesn't have his burst, but man, with the way that he's been comboing, oh God, that was huge. Okay, I like how he actually decided to just back off there and just wait for a new opening to present itself because my God, it is, whoa. Okay, not enough to kill, 27 HP. I think a throw at this point will actually get the kill with the forward throw. Depends on where the throw comes from. Oh God, that's burst too. And Bubby's combo game has been so exponential here. Oh, neutral are well spaced. Yo, the defensive game plan for both these players right now is actually crazy. That is it, though. We're going to a game five. Oh, a boy can breathe easy. Wow, the lob. That was a race to the ledge. <laughs> yeah. And she just barely beats him there in this game. Uh, since both players cannot grab the ledge, if one player is already grabbing, the next player who attempts to grab gets lobbed. So it throws you onto the stage and leaves you uh, at disadvantage for a certain amount of time. A lot of characters, uh, think about it like a reverse Trump. It's yep. like Trump, but it sends you forward instead. Yep, yep. But we do see the switch. The character switch going to a shiny here. And it seems like, look, he's like, I'm tired of 
shooting my bullets here, trying to create some space for myself. I'm gonna meet you hand to hand. And let me tell you, Ashani, while she does have to get in Urda's face to kind of really do her thing, the pressure she puts out, the combo game she presents, is insane. Yeah, I mean, last time we watched Bobby play this character, unfortunately, almost getting just obliterated. Last time we watched him play this character, he didn't really have a lot of the the super, super advanced optimal stuff, but his funnies are good enough to where it didn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> like, kind of how it works sometimes. He's got the fundies for it, and this character really does thrive when you have really good platform fighter fundamentals, especially some of the, for, uh, some of the faster characters. As you can see, just like that, jabbing at a shield really effectively. Yeah, well, you know what they say, Bubby has many hours. Oh. Oh, okay. oh my god, the pressure, just constant mix-ups here. <laughs> duffed once, duffed twice. Oh, this first stock is going to be crazy. Oh, okay. Oh, that's huge. <laughs> yeah, not coming back from that one. Has the neutral air to be able to answer it as well. First stock down the toilet. Akoi, great stuff. Yeah, but evens it up immediately. All right. Already a crazy battle for game five here. Oh, just barely missing on that Nair. Okay. Oi! <laughs> almost, almost gets it. 94 HP still left over though. Akoi just gets into the yellow band. Bubby is doing an amazing job edge guarding. Oh man, I mean, Bubby can do that entire situation all over again. Cause I mean, there's no burst to save Akoi this time around. But uh, Akoi getting some big combos here to get started. All right, that's huge. Oh, the burst. Oh. Not quite there. So, okay, goes for the slam. Does actually make it to the ledge. Bubby still is able to capitalize. Oh, that was so huge. Oh my God. Are they gonna be able to clean this up though? Not enough. 15 HP. Oh! <laughs> the Goomba stomp. Dude, that's not what I was expecting, but works out. And oh my God, the defibrillator. Yeah. Finish it off with the down, throw the multiple hits, take the kill. Both times that Akoi has taken the stock, Bubby has responded immediately to even it up. I mean, you can't keep this pattern going because that does put you as the loser of game five. Oh, that, okay, that was a little bit terrifying. I was scared for Bubby for a little bit. Okay, find that down throw this time. Try to mix up the DI. It looked like there with the, that odd kind of box pattern we're dashing in. 83 HP remaining and gets pushed off the ledge. Another big parry. Dude, they had the right side there too. That was actually pretty insane. Up special on the throw. Doesn't work. 84 HP. Oh my god, forward air is blocked and a... Uh, Oh, the multiple wall jump saves everything. Oh, boy. Oh, you hate to see it. That's the thing. That was a huge second sack for Bubby. They basically, it wasn't a zero to death, but, like, it was it was fairly close. Like, they did a lot of damage without Akoi answering back at all. Yeah, of course, the burst in this situation, too. Down air comes through. Goes Ooh. for the double down special. A ton of damage off of that. Yep. And that actually puts Akoi back into the game. I mean, I know they're taking some damage right now, but still. She got a shot at 25 HP. Got to get the kill now, though. You cannot let this extra credit continue to build up. Bubby is looking to finish this in potentially one more hit. Yep. Oh, this is a terrifying spot to be. Oh, okay, they got that started, that neutral special. They just weren't able to close it out. But last hit situation! Oh, my God. Threatening the That was so close. 61 HP. Spacing everything pretty well here. Like that turnaround for the defense. Oh my god. Wow. What a way to close that out too. I felt like a little anticlimactic, but that back air was so well placed. And you can see uh Cohen probably looks a little disappointed, but man, played her absolute heart out. I feel like I mean losing the puppy isn't even a bad thing, man. Like <laughs> Yeah, that's really tough. I mean, in the end, that last little DI mix up there, uh I mean Unfortunately, holding left there is really the only survival DI to be able to get out of the up air, but Bubby, he knows. He He's knows. got the knowledge for it. That's one of the most important things of platform fighters in general is knowing and understanding how to mix up people's DIs. That was, a, that was a tricky situation if you haven't seen it before. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. Oh, man. Wow. What a 
what a top eight bracket so far, man. Every single one of these games have just been fire from start to finish. But we got Gucci Goggles taking on number one Bochi fan. That is Levi.